Yo, what is up y'all? My name is Devin. Today I'm gonna be reviewing an STP 3-in-1. or at least I think it's a three in one. But before I get into that, make sure if you're new here, new is not subscribed, you go ahead and press that subscribe button down below to support me. If you are interested in coaching a meal plan or a training plan, which has nothing to do with PPs, but if you are interested, go ahead and email me at devinuscoaching at gmail.com. If you did want to donate to my top surgery, go fund me. The link for that will be down in the description below as well. Without a further ado, let's get into the real reason why you're here, which is my review of the Real Magic Stand 2P device. I will start off with a heavy disclaimer that is, this was gifted to me by one of my homies. I was like, yo, I've tried so many STPs before and I've always end up pissing myself. Go piss girl, like I was pissing on myself, okay? I used it, I used it at home, I used it in the stall, at the gym, here we go. This is it. If you guys don't know anything about Real Magic, you make this from scratch for yourself. Like you design the color, how you want it to look, all of that. Like I said, this was a gift. So obviously this is not my complexion. This is not my skin tone. It's super realistic. It's actually crazy. It has a little vein going, which is funny. That's a lot of detail. No one's gonna be looking that hard. So I guess it's good mentally. A super interesting feature about this is the balls. It has like the floating testicles that are in there. So that's the inside, pretty moderately sized hole. If I was wearing like like tighter joggers or maybe like tight jeans. I don't know that I would pack with this because the balls are so huge that it pushes this part of the peen forward and it just makes it look huge. So the balls are the size of the shaft. I don't know, does a human man, I guess these are based off of real people, but does a human man have balls that are the size of his actual dingling? I don't know. If you're about that BDE, then obviously this would be fine to pack with. Like I said, I've tried numerous STPs in the past. I tried this out at home first, obviously, and then I tried it out at the gym. I've never used a literal urinal. I'm not about that life. I feel like that's just too much exposure and if anything were to go wrong, why would I put myself in that position? I'm okay. How this works is super different than any other STPs that I've had. The other STP that I had, I'll throw it somewhere over here, was more so built like this. The P kind of gathers in the cup instead of flowing down the shaft. So the way that this functions with the whole downward plane is way more functional because if you're on testosterone, your little bit is going to be a little bit bigger. So then it kind of naturally follows this position. The P just naturally goes down with the side of the hole, it flows very nicely. I'd say if you don't have to pee so fucking bad, you don't really have to control your flow, which I think is amazing. I did make the mistake one day being like, holy shit, I have to pee. Like this is a 10 out of 10 emergency, you have to pee. And I used this, I was not able to control my flow. So it did sort of build up in this portion, but that was honestly all on me. Like I was pissing like a fire hydrant. So that's why that happened. That brings me to my next point, which is one hour later. The price range for this, obviously you're making it from scratch. Obviously this is hyper realistic within every sense of the word is very realistic. I mean, if you just look at it in passing, you'd be like, this is a literal penis. This is another device that serves essentially the same purpose. You guys have heard me shit on this before. This thing was around $300. This one is around 500 plus. You can just tell the difference by looking at it. This is just so unrealistic. Like it's flimsy rubber, not to shit on whoever's brand this is. Obviously someone put their hard work and dedication into it, but it's a difference of night and day. I tried to pee using this and I pissed on myself. I guess I'll just piss on the floor type of situation. Well, I guess I'll just piss on the floor. Also in terms of like realism, it's not looking super realistic. The pee hole is like super non-functional. If you compare the two, come on, there's a big difference there. It honestly just seems like this one was made with love and this one was made with not a lot of functionality in mind. Don't separate the balls from the shaft. Whatever harness you have, it has to be together in the harness like that. I would say that this is 100% worth the money and I'm beyond grateful to have received this because I'm going on a trip next month and I have to drive to the country. So when I stop at truck stops, I do not want to have to sit to pee because that gives me anxiety. I'll be able to use this and feel comfortable and feel like myself. Now, I'm very frugal and I have to be honest, like $400, $500, $600 is kind of steep for this. Now, if your dysphoria is killing you and you absolutely have to have a packer and an STP, then I do believe that it's worth the money. If you are in the market, you're going to be able to actually functionally use the restroom without pissing on yourself and you're going to be able to pack with it as long as you get maybe smaller balls if that's an option. I do believe it's worth the money like 150%. Hopefully, that was enough detail 
detail for you guys, as detailed as I could get. If you have any experience with the real magic, whether it's positive, negative, or in between, please drop that in the comment section down below. If you have any more other brands that I should try out, I've tried out Free Tom, I've tried out Peacock, I've tried out some stuff from FTM Essentials, now Real Magic, I've tried out from Banana Prosthetic. But if you know of any other realistic brands that I should try out, please drop that in the comment section down below as well. But if you are interested in coaching, go ahead and email me, follow me on Instagram, which is gonna be linked in the description down below. Like I always say, Devin loves you, Devin's a Dawn, and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.